Hello dear students, this is problem number 11 of chapter 4 of Engineering Mechanics Statics, 9th edition. So in this question, the question is determine the force in member A, B, B, C and B, D of the loaded truss. This is a truss which is loaded by L and this is around uh, like a half circle. So it is, it's, this is from the B point to the uh, circle of the uh, circumference of the circle point is R. It means that B to D is distance R and A to B distance are also R. So there are more than two unknown forces acting on every joint. There are more than two unknown forces. For example, if I take this force this is the force which is unknown and this is the force which is unknown and hinge support have two reaction forces which is this force which is unknown and this force is unknown and like that this joint have also more than three forces which is unknown and this joint also have more than three the more than two forces which is unknown so first of all we and need to isolate this truss and determine the reaction forces which is that we first of all we determine this reaction forces after that we will take joint and then uh, determine these forces in numbers okay so first of all i will want to draw a free body diagram of this of this loaded truss so this is a free body diagram this is a reaction force which is F A Y and force F A X and F A F C Y. Okay, roller support can resist only one force, which is vertical in this case. Okay, so summation of there are three there are three equilibrium equation, which is summation of all moment at any point and at any fixed point is equal to zero, and summation of all vertical force equal to zero, and summation of all horizontal force is equal to zero. So First of all, summation of moment at point A. I fix the point which is, uh, I, as an example, I say that it is the origin of this, uh, in XY plane it is the origin. So I fix this point, uh, moment A, uh, all moments at point A equal to zero. So two into R, uh, you can say that two, this is distance from here to here. This is 2R. The distance is 2R into force reaction force CY, FCY, okay, reaction force CY plus RL. So this is R distance from here to here. This is, this is the distance and this is the force which is L, RL plus RL equal to 0. Okay. So FC will equal to R L divided by 2R which is F C Y equal will be equal to 0 0.5 1 divided by 2 L 0 0.5 means 0 0.5 L okay so summation of F of I equal to 0 so there is two forces which is vertically act on this truss in which is F A Y and F C Y so positive F C positive F C Y and negative F A Y which is equal to 0 so F A Y will equal to F C Y uh, at the place of C Y I put L divided by 2 so L divided by 2 so it means that F C Y equal to also equal to 0 0.5 L so no I take joint which is this joint no these two forces I now um, the these two forces are known and these two forces are unknown so we can uh, analyze this child because there is only two unknown forces okay so this is the uh, i will draw free body diagram in x y plane of joint a so this is force at member a d force at member a b force at member a y force sorry this is Reaction force F A Y and reaction force F A X. So uh, first of all, I want to uh, say that this all I assume that these all forces are in tension. These forces 
already in tension and I assume that these two forces are in tension so uh, then I resolve it into its components so first com horizontal component is FAD cos 45 and the vertical component is FAD sin 45 so summation of f of y first of all I want to uh, you know, take equilibrium equation of vertical forces because when there is only two vertical forces one force is this one force is the component of FAD and this is known force and this is unknown force we can easily find out the component of a FAD sorry okay so uh, FAD sin 45 plus FAY which is FAY is L divided by 2 so FAD will equal to L divided by 2 or 0.5 L sin 40 divided by whole divided by sin 45 so FAD will equal to 0.5 L divided by sin 45 which is equal to when you calculate 0 0.5 divided by sin 45 will equal to 0 0.707 L which is mm, the answer we get with the positive sign it means that my assumption was right so it is in tension so f summation of f, f, f of x equal to 0 negative f of x which is this force which is this force f of x and uh, positive f of a b and one component horizontal component of f of a d cos 45 okay so uh, f of a d cos 45 so f of a b equal to 0 f of a b will equal to f a x which is known to us negative f a d which is known to us also uh, cos 45 so f a x equal to l okay and negative 0 0.075 l cos 45 f a b is equal to what F A B F A B F A X F A X equal to L so F A X equal to L this is when we take sorry I not take horizontal component so I take summation of all forces in x axis equal to 0 so there are two forces f mm, force f of a x which is negative and plus l equal to 0 which is this force l and f of a x okay so this is f of a x and this is l there is no other horizontal force though this force are only these two forces so uh, l will uh, sorry f of a x will equal to l okay so i know that you no know, in this case i know that f of a d and f of a x i also know that f of x equal to l negative minus 0 0.707 l cos 45 so uh, when you solve this uh, the a f uh, force in number a b will comes out uh, 0 0.5 l which is in tension so now i check joint b to find force f of bc okay so summation of all forces in x axis equal to zero so uh, negative f of a b and positive f of b c f of a b f of b c equal to 0 f of b c will equal to f of a b uh, the f of a b will equal to 0 0.5 l so f of b c will equal to 0 0.5 l uh, it means that the positive sign means that my assumption was right it is in tension so f of x summation of all forces in x direction equal to 0 so f of there is only one force which is f of b d so f of b d f of b d equal to 0 so these two three forces we find out these three forces f of a b 0 0.5 l which is in tension so f of b c which is 0 0.5 l it is also in tension so f of b d equal to 0 okay thank you very much this is all about problem number 11 so subscribe to my channel and give like 
if there is any problem you can ask me in a comment and also connect contact with me on whatsapp thank you very much